MLB The Show dropped this new pennant race program. And at the end of the program, you get this choice pack where you can choose one of these three World Series MVPs. You've got 99 Johnny Bench from 1976. They brought back Jorge Soler from 2021. And they brought back Jeremy Pena from 2022. Now you can actually get two of these packs because they did split this program into two stages. You get one at the end of stage one and then another at the end of stage two. But then they also have these pennant chase packs just scattered around the program and these contain five more World Series MVPs. And some of these cards are really good, like this Madison Bumgarner honestly looks awesome. But these are not choice packs and you only have a one in six chance of actually pulling one of these five World Series MVP. So I went ahead and got everybody from this program, including the three guys in that choice pack, Jeremy Pena, uh, Jorge Soler, and Madison Bumgarner in my rotation. So I'm gonna throw them into a game and see how they do. As I search for a game, just a reminder, if you're going to any baseball games in the last week of the season or in the postseason, use code Cougs on SeatGeek to save $20 on your tickets. And guys, from now until the end of September, Underdog Fantasy will be matching first-time deposits all the way up to $500. It used to be just 100, but for the next, what, 10 days or eight days, you can get your first deposit matched all the way up to 500 bucks. Use code Cougs to sign up and get that free promo money. It's gonna be Madison Bumgarner against Dustin May. This guy's got the flawless 12 and 0 icon. He's got a bunch of parallel five guys at the top of his lineup. This should be good. Okay, it's good contact for us. Ooh, we got him. JBJ is there. I've got Chipper 3-2. I don't know what I want to use for the out pitch. I'm going to try the cutter low and in. Ooh, good spot. Mad Bum looked good in the first. Let's get him some run support. Okay, well, that was bad. Oh, am I going to beat that? Safe. <laughs> Why didn't he throw that? Why did he run that to the bag himself? Troy Floss, the Angels World Series MVP. That ball was smoke. 438 feet on my first swing with him. Dude, I'm normally not great with Troy Gloss cards, by the way. So if this card's gonna swing it like that, I may have a new third baseman. Come on, Solaire, back from MLB 21. Get into one. Ooh. Ooh. I don't wanna talk about that. Ooh. No, 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 I did not swing. That a boy? Willie Stargell getting a two-out knock? Come on, let's get a two-out run. Okay, I gotta stop being late on the sinker. So, down in the comments, <laughs> I would love to know what you guys are thinking about this content drop. I did not see a lot of positive thoughts on Twitter. I saw a lot of people saying that this program really does nothing for them. People are saying that the grind still sucks. People are saying that... You know, we're, we're tired of grinding for the same players that we've gotten earlier in the year. Just a lot of the same type of sentiment that we've seen, you know, for a while now. So let me know what you're feeling down in the comments. The one thing I'll say is I, I've kind of made it clear at this point how I feel about the sets and season stuff, especially in set four. I, I feel like I've, you know, been pretty clear on on how i'm feeling about the game but at the end of the day for me like the game just is what it is and i can either you know get frustrated about it i can get disappointed or you know just unhappy with how they're doing things but at the end of the day the game just is the way it is and i don't think we're gonna see a major shift in the structure of the game mode this year and i think we're kind of just stuck with the way it is until MLB 24 Solaire, this would be a sick play. Okay. So for me, like, I don't think this program is like as bad as some people are making it out to be. I think there's some cards in here that are actually pretty good and pretty useful for a lot of God squads out there, but it does just feel like more of the same. And that just is what it is for me. It's just not even worth really spending any energy getting, you know, frustrated over. If you don't enjoy the way this game is right now, your best bet is probably just to play something else and put MLB down for a while because I don't think they're going to do anything that's really going to bring you back in a major way. That's really going to get you to be like, oh, hell yeah, I've got to get on the game now. Sets and seasons have ruined this game for a lot of people. The amount of grinding and the amount of work it takes just to get cards that you can use for a little bit of time in ranked seasons before they get phased out of your lineup just doesn't really sit well with a lot of people either. Once again, I've made my opinion on this stuff clear in previous videos. I'm not gonna spend the whole video talking about it. All I wanna say is that, yes, this program feels very similar to other ones and the same, you know, frustrations seem to be coming up in the community. At this point to me, it's just not worth it to, you know, expend energy into it. 
Ooh. Better swing on the sinker this time, though. This Jackie Bradley Jr. is pretty nice against righties. This could be a good matchup for me. Ball four. We'll take the base. Come on, Mike Trout. Show you belong on a team full of World Series MVPs. Oh, come on, man. Why are you doing that to Trout? That's a great swing on that slurve. That ball can't carry. Troy Gloss. Does he have another one? Is this Troy Gloss the best card in the game? I think he is. Two home runs already in two at-bats. Oh, Solaire. Come on. Are we going back to back? Go, please. Carry. Get out of here. Back to back. The power hitters are showing up. I'm not going to lie, bro. I missed that Solaire. That Solaire back in MLB 21 was so sick. I love using him. Looking good through the first three innings of this game. Let's keep it going. Jeremy Pena, easy play for him. Solaire, come on, come on, come on. Yep. I was debating who I wanted to put in left field to start this game. I didn't know if I wanted to go Solaire or Willie Stargell, but Solaire ended up just making more sense. We have four shutout innings with this new Mad Bum. So Mad Bum, we've got Troy Gloss and Jorge Solaire due up to start the fifth inning. Give me another shutout. You know those guys are going to do more for you. Yep, perfect out. See ya. Woo! Dude, now that I think about it, this feels like the only time we've actually gotten a really good Mad Bum for the postseason. I feel like every time we get a Mad Bum around this time, it's either like a 97 or a 98. It's like, dude, this guy had one of the most legendary playoff runs ever, Jackie Bradley Jr. Let's go! How have we not gotten a dominant Mad Bum up until this point? Unless I'm being stupid and I don't remember a certain one, I feel like there just hasn't been that Mad Bum, you know? 3-2 on Gloss, come on. Up the middle, this Troy Gloss is insane. What, what are you doing? What are you doing throwing that to World Series MVP Solaire? Gloss and Solaire are having a battle for who's going to be player of the game. Come on, Mike Schmidt. How about you do something, man? Every year, I fall into the same trap with Mike Schmidt. Oh, this card looks good. Maybe this will be the year. Nope. Every year, his card does not play well. Okay, well, that isn't going to help if I swing at that. So can't blame Mike Schmidt there. Down the line. Yo, low-key, under the radar, Willie Stargell is also three for three. What I'm saying, man, some of these cards in this program are actually good. But this season stuff just makes people not want to grind. And honestly, can't blame them. Oh, we've got more run support from Madison Bumgarner. Nice six-run cushion. Just got to keep going. Weak contact. More of that. I'm surprised this guy has stayed in this game. This guy's had some unlucky outs, some hard hit outs. He's, you know, obviously struggling a lot against Mad Bum for most of this game. I'm putting up just absolute rocket home runs. I'm surprised this guy's still here. To be a very satisfying strikeout or just another easy ground ball. Six zeros for Mad Bum. Once again, Pena, you have a shot with two outs to get a little rally started. Come on. Okay, that was a little late. Three, two. Come on, Pena. Get something started with two outs. Oh, that was the pitch, dude. Ooh. And then he blows a fastball by me. Yep, I definitely missed my shot. Whatever, dude. Mad Bum is still doing his thing, so the offense is fine. This is what I'm saying. I can't believe this guy is staying in this game. Way out in front. That's a beautiful change up to end the inning. All right, Troy Gloss, three for three. Keep it going. Four for four. This guy doesn't get out. Oh. I don't know what that was. Bro, that's a perfect out again. <laughs> there we go. There's one that's going to land for him. Oh, that was a bad pitch. Oh, Trout almost had that. That's going to be the end of the shutout for Mad Bum, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we didn't go to... Okay, okay. The shutout remains alive. I am going to warm up Raleigh Fingers. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. I am also going to bring the infield in. I would love for Mad Bum to... What the... F okay. 
Wait, we're getting him, right? Ooh, I took a little bit of time with that. 2-2 two, two now on Jock Peterson. I've stayed inside this whole at bat. I'm going to go back to a fastball high and in. Ooh, 3-2. Okay. Come on, Mad Bum. Dude, 3-2 again. All of a sudden, I can't get this guy out. Um, I'm going to go back low and in with a sinker. I don't think Jackie Bradley's making this play. Wow. Okay. Um, that came out of nowhere. I guess it didn't really come out of nowhere. I was saying that this guy was kind of getting some hard outs to center field. But man, I was one pitch away from getting out of this inning like three different times, and this guy just kept battling. So good on him. Maybe that's why he didn't quit. Got him. <laughs> Let's see if Raleigh can close the door. One out. What a play, Altuve. And there it is. The fork ball for strike three ends the game. Troy Gloss gets player of the game with his four for four, two homer performance. Mad Bum, of course, gets the win. Was looking pretty unhittable up until the eighth there. And I am pleasantly surprised with how well I hit with some of these cards.